listen to me, dragon. Spyro, this is serious now. The sorceress is planning a trap for you, and if she catches you... Believe me, you don't want to know what she's going to do. Look, I promise to take good care of the rest of the eggs. I mean it. Just take Hunter and go back home before... Before... I can't say it! Just go! Well, someone's feeling a bit affectionate. Didn't we just see that cutscene before? Anyway, hey guys, welcome back for Let's Play Spiral 3, Year of the Dragon. We're on our third of fourth homeworld here. Evening late. I said third of fourth, not third or fourth. Just to be clear. And this is one of my favorite homeworlds right here. Well, actually, it is my favorite of the four. Because it, we have to deal with a rocket right here. Rockets are awesome, right, Kelly? Yep. Yep, she's back again. Hopefully for the remainder of the whole Let's Play. Anyway, uh, do some exploring around here. There's a ladder. Hopefully I can make it. Dang it. Uh, there we go. Climbing dragons. Next thing you know, they're going to be blowing bubbles. And this is the sparks level right here. Fly over here, and we got our first egg, which is... Hannah, like Hannah Montana. And I also have a million friends named Hannah. Seventy eggs. Alright, well I guess it's time to dive under the water here. Just let me get across to here real quick. Click the treasure. Let's see what's up here. Uh okay. Zoe, what do you have for us this time? Invincibility. Hi again, Spyro. This power-up can make you invincible, but only for a short while. Use it to get by these flame spitters. You'll find an egg when you get past them. All right, so another reference coming up right here. Got a shield. Now we're we're flying through fire. All right. Who do we have here now? Stuart. Stuart Little. Stuart Gilligan Griffin from Family Guy. There's also a Sue from uh, Rugrats. Th that's Tommy's father right there with the purple hair. He was the toy inventor. Bust open the... There you go, Spyro. And use your head or something. Come up here. This is where the top of the rocket is. Alright. I guess it's time to head down to the bottom of the lake right here. Originally, this lake had the Sunrise Spring homeworld music. But in the fourth and second, uh, second game with this game right here, I guess, they just revamped it. Get the bottle. This is, again, this is why I hate water levels. Can never aim right. What, what level do we have over here? That's, uh. Frozen Altars, I believe. This one right here with the ship, that's one of my least favorite right there. Oh, look, a whale! Yeah, you'll, you'll be seeing it soon enough here. Because eventually we have to go inside the whale. Weird part about it, it's a, it's a lake. So, wouldn't... And whales live in the ocean, so wouldn't this... There, this has to be a reference to the Loch Ness Monster right there. Maybe. Alright. First up on the wall, got a pink and purpley room right here. This is definitely you're right, definitely down your lane right here, Kelly. All right, Scooby. Closest thing I think of that being it's scratching itself like a dog is Scooby Doo. And God knows how long that series is gonna last right here. It's what three generations now? Back in 1960s, 1970s. Yes, there's the whale. 
There's Charmed Ridge and Honey Speedway right there also. But, uh... Your favorite character is Velma, right? I really hate how they have her in the in this third generation right here. Like, of all the of all the generations, I'd say the middle would have to be the best because it has the best art, art style. Honestly, that's the name of the level right there. But her in the in today's Scooby-Doo right there, she doesn't really look right. She's coming on to shag a bit too much right there. She's probably found the way to get some uh, pot off of him. Come on, Shaggy. Shaggy, look. Everyone, gets, everyone says Shaggy is a, uh, a yeah, pretty much. Velma's the nerd, the cute nerd, I might add. Daphne is the damsel in distress. All she's useful is just for guys coming onto her, wanting to have her their way with her and all that. Fred's the su Fred's the sailor, and I'm trying to get into this whale's mouth right here. There we go. No, I didn't forget Daphne, she's the damsel in distress. Yeah, but she distracts the... Jonah, monster. like the Jonas Brothers. <laughs> or Jonah uh, in the Bible. J-O-N-A-H? Uh, mm-hmm. Jonah um, goes into the whale. How perfect he is. That's, that's, that's probably the reference right there, Kelly, obviously. <laughs> Jim. Alright. Where to go from here now? Uh, I guess we'll go in uh, free Bentley now. He's my favorite character of all of all four. So let's just get all these gems right here. And all right, let's do it. 400-400. So missing an egg on the bridge. Okay. I'll get that later. No, I don't want to quit. And you know what? Let's go ahead and do it now because we're going to be backtracking to Bentley's world anyway. Always take out the bonus characters first for levels because they're part of the backtracking that we need to do for Bamboo Terrace. The egg's right up there. Okay, final reference right here. We have Ted. Ted the movie, the little bear. It almost seemed, was the perfect funny movie of the year, but Grown Ups 2 knocked that out of the park right there. 5 of 5, level complete. Let's go free Bentley the Yeti. <laughs> the sorceress has a real prize on her hands here. It took two dozen Rhinox to capture this dim-witted furball, so you'd better believe he's not going to get out cheap. 1,000 gems? Okay. Deal. Where are you getting all this money, Spyro? <laughs> it's not just lying around on the ground, is it? Uh, is it? Ah, what do I care? It's mine now. Mine now. Eh, screw you, money bags. For the record, yes, it is all, all on the ground right there. Very hard to pick up. Alright, next cutscene. A duplicitous larcenous ursa. Ah, the first rejuvenating breath of freedom. With the humility of a wounded sparrow, I genuflect to my noble deliverer. Uh, it was no big deal, dude. Yes. <clears throat> After all, it was I who let you out. Why, you brazenly avaricious, duplicitous, larcenous ursine! Now hold on! <clears throat> One more, perhaps? At least. <laughs> Please do afford me the sublime honor of enjoying your visitation in the nearest future. Yeah, sure.
Okay, so that was our cutscene for Bentley. I'm sure Kelly got a whack out of it, I guess. Yep. Or in this case, money bags. He got swacked three times with that club right there. So in the next part, we're going into Bentley's outpost. Until then, see you guys later. Say goodbye, Kelly. Bye.